In the last video, we created a simple Python application which imported or read in the Google spreadsheet data as a CSV, formatted that data as a pandas spreadsheet, and then converted that data to a list of dictionary objects. In this video, we will take a short breather and convert the file to a simple Flask server with a static home page. Now, back at the top of the file, we need to do an additional import. So underneath import pandas as pd, type from flask import flask with a capital F, comma, and render template. And go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to get rid of these print records and add some white space. And then I'm going to add a comment, which is instantiate new flask application object. So to do that, we simply type app equals, and I'm calling the flask application app, flask with a capital F, and then underscore name underscore. There you go, you've instanti instantiated a new Flask application object. Next, go ahead and add some additional white space. And then add comments. Routes, also known as pages. And then what we're going to type is we're going to type the at sign, app.route, or root, however you prefer to pronounce it quotes forward slash in other words the home the index and then we're going to define a new function underneath or underneath this called index we're not going to use anything it's going to leave empty and then we're going to say return render template and then within the parentheses we will insert index.html now we don't have this yet and we'll come back and actually make this. You can see why it is we need to have it in existence and how we're going to format it. Again, add a few additional blank lines and then we're going to generate the main method. So since I'm in an IDE, I can simply type main and then tab and it'll auto fill out if name equals main. This will allow us to execute the application or the Flask application server here. And then I'm going to type app.run, so the Flask application run, and then I'm going to give it some parameters. So the first is host, and I'm going to set it in quotes as 127.0.0.1, which is localhost. So I could have typed localhost. And then I'm going to type the port and actually set the port to 5000 in this case. And then last, I'm going to set debug mode to true. Now, let's go ahead and run the application. I'm going to clear this out. Type Python Flask API server and press enter. And it's basically spinning up a Flask server at the moment. Notice it says running on HTTP 127.0.0.1 So you can control click that or you can go ahead and type that in. And notice that it tells me, oh, you have template not found. There's an error. What's going on? Well, like I said, we need to create this document for it to exist. So let me switch on back. And we're going to keep the server running. Now over in your folder, or the Google Flask folder that we have as the root folder where the Flask API server Python file is located, create a new folder and call it templates. It This is a required name. You cannot call it templates R or my folder it has to be templates set templates and then within that go ahead and create a new file called index.html 
and then generate some default HTML text. So I can do that using my IDE. And then I'm going to say Flask API, or better yet, let's do Now, if I jump back here and refresh, it works. That's the end of this video.